talked with so many fantastic families and volunteers and donors, uh, you know, community leaders and, and movers and shakers. Uh, but the most important interview is happening right now, of course. Uh, Jacqueline, uh, you and your daughter Summer are here, and uh, you have an incredible story. And uh, more importantly, Summer, you have a very beautiful voice. We'd love to hear you sing. So, Jacqueline, you know, kind of take everybody listening uh, to uh, somewhat of the beginning of, of this journey that, that you are on with Summer uh, and, and where you start and, you know, along with your support system where you guys come across which this can happen so we can get a better idea uh, of just, you know, what your day-to-day -day is like. I adopted Summer from China almost two years ago. We are going to celebrate our two-year gotcha day in the next couple weeks happy, here. Happy gotcha day. Um, at the time that I adopted her, we thought she had what was a really large birthmark mm -hmm. on her shoulder that would probably require maybe four or five surgeries, nothing life or limb threatening. We could kind of fix and schedule at our own our own convenience so we were told mainly it was probably going to be a cosmetic thing. just cosmetic yeah um, I brought her home from China and we were playing on the playground and she had a small fall like kids do and mm -hmm. just bumped her head only a tiny little bit um, nothing too too bad took her home put her down for a nap and when I woke her up I mean this was only a couple hours after the fall her entire face was black and blue her eyes were swollen shut and we knew something wasn't right so we took her to Akron Children's Hospital and she was seen in the emergency room and we were referred to hematology oncology and few weeks after that we met with a hematologist oncologist who said no you know kids fall kids get hurt we'll do some routine blood work probably won't ever see you again um, and I remember my dad was with me who hates hospitals <laughs> and no sooner did we make it to the highway than we got a phone call saying turn around you need to bring your car back you need to come back to the hospital your daughter's platelet count is less than 6,000 um, so it turns out that and this is you know, we, after over a week of being hospitalized and biopsies and all sorts of tests, after about six months, they ended up diagnosing her with a pretty rare vascular tumor called Kaposi-form hemangioendothelioma um, with a complicating factor called kesselbach merritt syndrome, where um, this thing that we thought was a birthmark is a tumor that's actually eating all the platelets in her body, so she could fall at any time and essentially just little bumps or bruises could cause her to bleed to death. Um, this is a pretty scary time in our life. Sure, sure. And um, it, they've tried many treatments, and we're finally now, after a couple of years, on a really good treatment plan that's working and that's doing awesome. well. Yeah, that's awesome. And um, we met Wishes last December at a Christmas party that they threw for all of the kids that are patients at the Showers Cancer Center and Blood Disorder Center, not just the ones with life-threatening illnesses. Uh -huh. Which I mean, the Wishes. But the party in of itself was super special. They had food and entertainment and crafts for the kids. And they brought in Santa, which I was just saying earlier to the parent of a child whose immune system is compromised and can't take her kid during cold and flu season to the mall to see Santa and expose them to the germs. Like that was, it was just amazing. And um, I had my mom with me, and she actually reconnected with a friend of hers who volunteers for Wishes Can Happen, and that's, that's kind of how we met them. So then once they, uh, you, you sat down, you got to meet them and everything, and they got to meet Summer, then what, where did things go from there? Uh, we were put in contact with Dennis Kelly, who is our wish grantor. He is an awesome man. And Summer was telling him all about how much he, she loves animals, huh? <laughs> yeah. And he came up with a list of suggestions and said, you know, really probably the San Diego Zoo is, is going to be a good, a good thing for you. And 
sometimes I joke he knows my own child better than me. He said, <laughs> while you're out there in California, you can't be all that way and you can't go to Disney. And I'm like, I don't know. I don't really think she's going to be into that. I was wrong. He was right. She loved it. <laughs> she loved every last bit of that trip and we still talk about it every night. That's so cool. And obviously, um, the It's a Small World ride stuck in her head. <laughs> oh my gosh. They and were stuck awesome. In the yeah, oh yeah. They, uh, they let her ride the ride for almost a straight hour on a <laughs> continuous loop. And, and then, would you like to ride again? No. Thank you. <laughs> So, so Jacqueline, you know, you, you go from a situation where you think something is, is not a big deal to you find out very quickly that it's a serious thing. You know, when you get the opportunity to travel with Summer and, and do these things that bring her so much joy, obviously when she's happy, you are happy. How great is that stress relief? That, that even just for that small window of time where you can just bond and and see her in in a moment, in many moments of happiness. It's um, it's pretty awesome. I have to say because I mean nobody. I mean I didn't picture my life like this, and I sure. don't regret one minute of it. But you know. When you're adopting a child and starting a family, you think about birthday parties and going to the park and the playground. And my kid couldn't do any of these things for the first two years because if she could, she could get seriously hurt. We couldn't go to pump it up with her cousins and we couldn't do any of these things. So we would have a, a normal family experience. It's pretty awesome. That seems to be, you know, that's, that's what we hear so much from, from parents and kids. When they go on this trip, it's, you know, it is normalcy. And that normal is not your normal. Because your normal is treatment. And you know, a possible situation where she can fall. So that's, it seems like that's what, um, what people think about and, and, and something a lot of other people don't think about. It's just, and it's just so much even more. There's so much thought into these trips. I mean, I, I have a good job. I make good money. I could pay for us to go on vacation, but I, I was nervous wreck to go out yeah, sure. further than an hour's distance from Akron Children's. And because you just worry just in case. He just put me at ease and said, we send families further. We're here to support you. We'll make sure you have everything you need. It's going to be okay. I don't know if I could have done this without his support. I was just too nervous to travel. When, when was your trip? We traveled um, in May. Like this this past May. Yeah. So you just got back a couple months ago? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's been so much still stuck in still stuck in everyone's head. Well, Jacqueline Summer, thank you so much for taking a few minutes to uh, explain to everybody your incredible story. We are so happy that uh, we have this event. And now you can start getting back to the point where those park play dates and those birthdays, uh, you know, they're, they're not so far out of reach of that is fantastic. So if you would like to uh, be a hero and, and help stories like Summers and Jacqueline's, that you can absolutely do that. We uh, are here now at the verge of hour 34 for the 12th annual All Care Wishathon Benefiting Wishes Can Happen. Uh, Summer, thank you for talking with us today and thank you for singing so beautifully. You got a much better sing but <laughs> she is just a fun little energy in the moment. Thank you so much, ladies, for stopping by. Uh, we will be checking in with some more families as we continue our journey here in the final two-hour stretch. We're at hour 34 of uh, the uh, Wishathon. If you want to make a donation, give us a call 330-649-WISH. 330-649-9474. Go online to mixwishes.com. Or if you want to come down, I mean, it's, it, we're going to be here for another two hours, and then we're going to be announcing our total right around 6 o'clock. So uh, come on down, and you can make a donation this way as well and, and be part of the excitement. We'd love to see you down here. Springbrook Plaza, it is the 12th annual All Care Wishes on Benefit. Wishes can happen with Mix 94.1.